Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to the Spiritual Unity Radio Network, a station dedicated to the concept that all manifestations of the divine are equally valid. Join Reverend Terry Power HP, Robin McKean, and all the hosts for programming covering a wide range of spiritual topics right here on Blog Talk Radio. and crew as they seek answers to these and other timeless questions and serve Mount Olympus by safeguarding the path of mystic ascension. Welcome to the Pride of Olympus. Greetings and welcome to Pride of Olympus. I am today your producer and engineer, Hercules Invictus, and I am very proud to present another episode of the Magisterial Mission, hosted by Michael and Diane Duncan. Today, their guests are going to be Nick Curto and Pato Banton. Greetings and welcome, everybody. Hello there, Hercules. Greetings. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing tonight? Hey, I'm doing well, and here's Pato Bantan is with us tonight. Greetings. Hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you clearly. Um, And Nick, you're there as well. Greetings. Absolutely. It's great to be with all of you. I wish I was, like, literally beside you, but this is this is uh, the next best thing, and I'm looking, looking very much forward to this very special program. As am I. I'm going to assume my engineer hat now and remain silent, but I will be here listening. Uh, so if you need me, just holler. All right, Hercules. Hey, I want to wish uh, everyone a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. How are you doing, Nick? Oh, absolutely. Same here. Uh, Everybody, peace and love for the uh, new year. And um, I I hope everybody has a a warm place to to call home and enough food and worldwide. I think that's the goal we all need to to take a good hard look at. Well, you know, Nick, uh, that is something that uh, everyone within their hearts will be receiving. There are some incredible... Uh, wonderful celestial friends here that have been here at our home the last couple days. Uh, They're giving us a Christmas present, and their Christmas present to us is laying the groundwork for everyone's hearts and minds to be open to love, and there are uh, other other celestials that uh, that will be helping us with world peace, helping us get together, and to destroy, to tear asunder those differences and those obstacles which uh, prevent us from coming together as children. Amen to that. Absolutely amen to that. We need that in this world more than ever. I think everybody here would agree with that. You know, and Nick, there are some uh, fabulous human beings also (laughs) that are working very hard. And we have one tonight, and his wife, Antoinette, is here too. We have Pato Bantan here. Hey, Pato, can you say say hi to everybody? Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Oh, so good to have you. Wonderful. wonderful. I saw one of your performances when you were in New York, and it was just terrific. Thank you so much. Pato, can you give us a little bit? You're coming back, back aren't you? Yes. You're coming back out that way in February. In February. That's uh, wonderful. I can't wait. I really can't. Yeah, we're playing at the the United Palace on February the 2nd. 
Oh, okay. Are you familiar with that with... venue, Nick? What's that? Are you familiar with that venue? No, no, I am not. Yes, and I believe we're planning a, um, to meet many of the people at the Rancher Association of Greater New York when we come out there, too. The Rancher Society of Greater New York has got some of the most yes. wonderful people I have ever uh, I've ever been privileged to know in my entire life. What an incredible nice. group. That, you probably know them by, by being at the different conferences. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, but, oh, boy, that's going to be something. Really, looking very much forward to that. Me too. Well, Pato, um, you know, because of Nick, uh, now Nick is a past president of of the uh, Urantia Society of Greater New York. Because of Nick and uh, our wonderful producer and engineer there, Hercules Invictus, you know, because of them, um, in 2016, um, I became an ordained interfaith minister. Um, as as you know from our interview tonight, uh, Pato, you know we've been mm-hmm. uh, we've studied we've studied and have uh, experience with a lot of different uh, spiritual modalities, east and west, yeah. that we're very yeah. proud of. Uh, and we mm-hmm. have been uh, made, we've been making an effort in the last number of years to connect with different groups uh, to work together. And I know that you're a minister, Pato. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your journey uh, as a minister and maybe with the ranch book? Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your wife. Yeah, um, well, both me and Antoinette are uh, ministers. We, we call ourselves uh, Ministers for Christ Michael and Ministers of the Verb, <laughs> which is more about doing service than having a title, you know. Uh-huh. But... Um, we also um, are involved in the interfaith community. We are involved with the, the URI, which is the United Religions Initiative. Um, and they have how, how many organizations there? 950. 950 um, spiritual organizations worldwide. Um, they actually just gave us an award for our contributions to the global network um, as interfaith activists. And um, we just did a, a double album, actually, with musicians from around the world of different faiths. Called um, The album is called We're All In This Together. And it features artists from Africa, from Israel, from India, from Germany, um, Sweden, England, across America, um, Brazil, Mexico, Argentina, <laughs> Australia. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a double album that was released at the Parliament of the World's Religions um, on November the 1st, recently. And um, we we just got an award for that album, um, which is a beautiful oh, thing. We are also, thank you, we're also heavily involved in an organization by the name of Unity Earth who um, also works with the, um, the UN, the United Nations in New York, and has um, been taking us around the world to um, Thailand, to Africa. Next year we go to India. Where else? Um, next uh, year or last year? Next year we're, we're getting ready to go to India, um, Israel. Israel. And, mm-hmm. and then we're going to, in 2020, we're doing a multi-faith, journey from south from san francisco we're going to drive on a bus with people from many different faiths and stop in most cities on the way to new york um, oh boy and wow that's going to be a big undertaking and recently we were just in um ethiopia we did a tour of ethiopia with representatives 60 Five. 65 representatives from the world's different religions. We had 10 Buddhists with us. We had rabbis, Jewish rabbis. We had Muslims. We had Sikh, Baha'i, Sikh, Baha'i Aborig- Native, Aborig- Aborigines. <laughs> <laughs> and we did, we did a three-city three tour of Ethiopia. <laughs> so we're, we're very, very heavily involved. And we also set up a global network of Ministers for Christ Michael, other readers of the Arantia book who 
want to become ministers, we encourage them to become ministers and be about Christ's business. And um, right now we have 270 ministers in most parts of the world right now. Wow. <laughs> that's wonderful. That's outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. What you just listed, I am just, oh, but you goodness. took my breath away. You did. <laughs> I'm too, Nick. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Wow. That's, that is such a, that is such a a ray of hope also on so many levels, so many levels. I, as a kid, I thought that most people, almost every person on this planet wants love and peace in their, in their life. And they not want war. They do not. They don't have issues with other religions, other, other races. They don't, they really don't. I think that's most of the people of the world. It's just a few evil People, bankers, some, some mm-hmm. of them are bankers and multi-billionaires who war is a very profitable business. Yes. And yes. if you don't have war, you, your business is not no good. <laughs> and yes. that is driving, as, I'm sure you know this, as that's driving this planet into destruction. And we've got to really, yes. got to really address that, see it for what it is, and educate people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Nick, I want to tell you that Antoinette also is the most marvelous composer, and tonight we're hoping she'll play a new piece that she has just written. So we're very excited in anticipation of that. Fantastic. Wow. That, I, somehow that, that doesn't surprise me that you both would have that, would have that kind of talent also. Oh, that's terrific. Well, do you, what, what are you going to play? Is there a, a name for the, uh, the piece? Well, I'm still working on a name for the piece. At first, when I was um, I was writing some music, I was doing a couple different albums. One was a meditation piece, and all your ranch inspired music. Some of it might be a little bit more upbeat, like techno or or down tempo. But when I was working on one song um, specifically for the mother spirit, for for people to be able to try to connect more with the feminine divine, I was I was thinking about that. It's like we always direct our prayers to Christ Michael or we direct them straight to God or we're meditating, you know, with our thought adjuster. And it's like, what if, you, you know, after the experiences of um, attending the Urantia Women's Conference, it's like a retreat, and then I went to Canada to speak at the International Women's Day with another Urantia lady up there and, and then going to the IC um the one in Colorado where we did the women I C seventeen where we did the the panel for the women for the Divine Mother Spirit. It made me start to think more about her and I was like, what if we, you know, like put our thoughts towards that and I felt like um that the mother divine spirit was trying to communicate with the her daughters on earth and that kinda like inspired me to think more about that as I was writing the music, but then as I started to write this song the other day when Pacha was officiating a wedding for this couple, a song came to me kind of instantly, and that <clears> was the thought in my mind, but then I was also kind of thinking that she might have been trying to tell me something, and the message <laughs> that I felt like I was getting was something about unity, not uniformity, and about how the division that was causing so much, you know, in the world, you know, which is causing war and all the other different things that's going on, why we don't have peace. And um, the song was about um, we don't have to think the same, we don't have to feel the same for you to know, you know, how much that I love you and, and different things like that. And I started working it with this other woman that I knew because um, we get very heavily involved politically and socially and, and we see, you know, the division that's going on everywhere. And and I was just trying to think of a way, like, how do we get back to bringing the people back together once again, you know. And this is just not anything that's, um, uh, religious or political, but it is spiritual in nature as far as, you know, mankind, humankind, you know, to be kind to each other and why, you know, why we can't find the ways for us to kind of come about together. And I stuff. can't so, think of a more important message you could possibly have than what you just said. Oh, thanks. And it's strange because that's what kind of got, you know, with what that's going into the interface and Pato and I were doing a lot of work for many years doing outreach with introducing the Urantia book. And then during those years, I was like, why can't we just get along? And that became like a real focused mission of mine before I could even get to Urantia teachings was just like, how can we just get along? 
And then I started this new thing of coexist, but using the Urantia teachings on how we actually can coexist because I felt that was like the greatest truth out there that was interfaith was actually found inside the Urantia book. Exactly. And I was like, if we start there, then we can move on to other things on what they want to believe. But let's get back to the basics of what we actually all do believe first. You got it. Brothers and sisters, and the, the, all the boundaries and all the walls need to come down. Absolutely. Yes. Antoinette, yes. Can, we, can we hear a little bit of your song? Sure. You want it with the girl singing that she was uh, messing around with or just the music itself? The instrumental. Itself? The oh, instrumental. Okay, so that way you guys can put your own thoughts yeah, since we already... Got to speak. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Yes, Pastor. go right ahead. <laughs> yeah, Please ahead. do. Let us All hear right. it. Then let me give it to you. This is, where's the music? I don't know. It's in photos. <laughs> and then while you're getting that ready, uh, Antoinette, I want to mention that, uh, you know, uh, the divine feminine is something that is really apparent right now, really, really um, showing influence. So after your song... I'd like to play one of my songs <laughs> that focuses on a very important, a very important divine celestial uh, who happens to be feminine, and she is uh, helping to shape uh, some new movement on our planet. So uh, I'd like to play that after yours. Awesome, because that's what I was sitting here thinking was that um, that when 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 we did the 2012 in in Thailand. And then Pacha was talking about the new age. There was a new day dawning, and that was going to be like the rise of the feminine. There were so many things that was happening all over the world. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Is that it? No, no, no. It's this one here. Yeah, there were so many things happening all over the world where women started to take roles in leadership positions, whether spiritually or whatever. But anyway, here's the track. I'd love to I hear the lyrics. 
I don't know about you guys, but I was uh, thinking of titles for that since it's a new song. And uh, I came up with the title, Love Has a Place in This World. It just mm-hmm. sounds to me like it's a, it's a song that opens people's hearts, you know, to, to receive love. Mm-hmm. That's the one that I thought of, too, because it's such a perky kind of a sound that, 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 that you have. Another one could be uh, uh, The Sunshine of Love. Because it had a very yeah. warm quality to it. Like mm-hmm. I felt very warm with that uh, music. Anyhow, it's an idea. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice stuff, very nice stuff. Yes, Nick is a wonderful composer, too. So we've heard lots of his music also, heard about it. Yeah, and Nick, after, this, uh, after the piece that I play, um, if you could tell us maybe a little bit about the piece that you're working on. Would love to. Thank you. Thank you okay. very much, Michael. Now, the Divine Feminine. Um, we were talking to Pato and Antoinette a little bit earlier today. They were interviewing us, as a matter of fact, um, and we, really, we had a really great time. Thank you, Pato, and thank you, Antoinette, for that. For You're welcome. Allowing us to tell a little bit of our story to the Urantia community. Uh, and one of, the, uh, one of the things we mentioned was uh, that the Celestials are moving toward um, a, a new worldwide religion of love. Now, you hear that word religion, and you think, oh, gosh, another religion, right? But this is something different. It's, it's, it's a religion that will be redefined as something more extraordinary than what we've seen so far with our evolutionary religions. This is going to be a religion where the celestials will, uh, will visit us in the inner sanctum, in our hearts. Um, Mother Venus, a divine feminine, a paradise daughter, will be with a team of her workers, will be opening the hearts of people to, uh, to have more love, to feel more love and to express more love with one another. And also with her is her consort, Gabriel, whom we know in the Urantia book as the bright and morning star. He will be bringing truth to this new religion. But it's a religion that appeals to each person, where they are in their hearts and in their minds and in their journeys, their personal journey with God and doing God's will. So this song I wrote because I was inspired by Mother Venus and her... um, her thoughts of this new religion that she's just now starting to tell us about. And one of her symbols is yellow. She will be incarnating in yellow as a human to help spread these messages of love and truth. And also one of her symbols is the eight-pointed star. So you'll hear that in the song. And it's called Lady in Yellow, and it happens to be uh, one of the songs on our fourth album, our new album called Lady in Yellow, Tribute to the Celestials, Volume 1. Here's Lady in Yellow. Lady in yellow, eight-pointed star, heaven's reflection. 
reflection felt from afar. Beautifully bright, shimmering light, blessing our world from above, blessing our world with love. Mother Venus, Aphrodite, Lady of Love. Mother Venus, Ishtar Starte, Goddess of Love. Inspired by you, a new way of giving, new way of sharing, new way of caring for everyone, everyone, our levels of life, happiness for everyone. Lady in yellow, shining, shimmer. Dancing glimmering, lady in yellow, beauty truth in harmony. Coming on March 20th, 2020, she's coming with three Paradise Daughters. She's coming with nine Celestials. And we saw those Paradise Daughters and the nine Celestials at a meeting in our backyard that we call a gathering. And it's going to be a wonderful thing, her traveling for two years to every place of worship. And we must remember in every person there is a place of worship in your heart, and she will be going to every place of worship, and that means every person. It doesn't matter, she says, if they're religious or not. She is there for them, and this is for everyone. You don't have to change your religion. This is for everybody. It's, it's an inner heart uh, religion, an inner heart message, and she is going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just such an extraordinary statement, and and it's just such an extraordinary occurrence that that you're that you're saying is coming. And really, the world is waiting uh, anxiously for that for that uh, amount of love and understanding. And really, it, it's timed. It seems like the timing is just perfect. Don't you don't you feel that? I do. We are in a confused state right now. There's a lot of turmoil and a lot of anxiety. And the, the Melchizedeks that we have talked to and the gods, that they, they are all going to try and help to disentangle a lot of that anxiety and frustration. And then we are going to have beautiful Venus spreading her love. So I, I am in full faith of the celestials, that they can do it and that they will do it. And you know, Nick, one of the elements, one of the elements of the magisterial mission is to, is to, affect, um, is to affect a certain amount of peace and stability. Now, the Universal Father has told us that uh, he's going to help in that effort to help, uh, help us to um, move toward world peace. And that's an essential element of the magisterial mission and, uh, you know, getting getting the earth back on track a little bit uh, so that Maitreya can do his new social programs and his work uh, and uh, Mother Venus and Gabriel can help spread the worldwide religion of love. 
Um, Nick, you have a song that uh, talks about uh, war. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, thank you very much, Michael. And I've been mm-hmm. working on this. Um, I recently had a, uh, a, a little meeting with the uh, people. Uh, it's called the, um, the um, Lavender Gospel Choir of Harlem. And wow. um, they heard they heard the song, and right now, of course, they're really up to their necks still in performance of the for the holidays on various levels. But I'm hoping that we will, uh, after the holidays, uh, do a second meeting and see how far we can get with that. So that's one possibility. I I can just about hear them performing this because it's a highly spiritual and spirited song, and I think they've got the wind power the men and the women in that gospel choir could absolutely blow the roof off the place <laughs> with, with, in, in a nice way, in a nice way with, with the song. It's called No More War. And if I may, I'll just read a little bit of the lyrics for this. Please, All right? please do. Tell us. Let us know. Okay. Uh, it's called No More War. Uh, here we go. No more war. No more war. No more war. With a generation for change, and we know it. We have the momentum, and we show it. We've waited too long for peace already. Can't wait anymore. War is deadly. With a generation for change, and we know it. And then it goes from there into another part of the lyrics, which I will... I will um, no more war, no more war. Bullets are flying, people are dying, widows are crying, children are hiding... All world governments still lying, lies, the people aren't buying. Bullets are flying, people are dying, widows are crying, children are hiding, all world governments still lying, lies, the people aren't buying. And it goes from there, people of all nations coming together with love and respect for one another. We're all one family, and that's clear, all wars must disappear People of all nations coming together with love and respect for one another. We're all one family, and that's clear. All wars must disappear. Love, understanding, sincere emotions, rather than killing explosions. Stop the terror, stop the hate. Peace is better, there's no debate. Worldwide friends joining together, shot from the rooftops, now and forever. We'll make our voices heard loud and clear, our message, world peace, forever. Cheer. Mm, There you go. Wonderful. Um, Tonight is also our wonderful time when we hope that everyone, no matter where they are in the world, will say a prayer for world peace. And, Michael, would you say a little prayer for world peace for us? Because this is so important. Nick, thank you for sharing that. And we're going to close our eyes very, and bow our heads. Very beautiful, and, Nick. Very beautiful. And, um, oh, you. you know, I have an idea. Yeah, um, we let Pato do Pato, it. Pato, you are a minister. Would would you say a little brief prayer for world peace for us? That would be wonderful. I, I would love to. Oh, thank you. Okay, you ready? Yes, we're ready. Yes. All right, couple deep breath. Mm. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the opportunity for us to come together to share our ideas, our motivations our music, and our hopes and aspirations for a better future. Dear Heavenly Father, there's so many problems in this world right now, and so many people are very close to losing hope for a brighter future, but we know that you have a plan for us, and we know that you have a celestial army out there who are fighting for us, who are striving to push us towards thinking with a new mind and feeling with a new heart and seeing with a seeing with insight 
the beautiful future that we can attain if we only put down the barriers that separate and divide us, if we put aside the differences that we find in our ideologies and our philosophies, and if we call to account our leaders who continue to invest in this game they call war, which is so devastating to human life, to animal life, and to our mother nature. We pray for peace all over this planet, Heavenly Father. We pray that mankind will learn to live by the golden rule and not just have it as an ideology, but learn to live it, to treat other nations and other races, they would have their own race and nation be treated. I pray that we can learn to love each other and recognize that we all share the same divine parent and that we are all family from a spiritual level and that we are all connected genetically and biologically also. I pray, Heavenly Father, that we will become more sensitive to each other's needs and pay more attention to taking care of the hungry and the needy and the disadvantaged people of our world and put our resources into building a better future with a better infrastructure and with better medical care for everyone and more food and water for the people who are without these human necessities which are our right as human beings on this planet. I not only pray for this planet, Heavenly Father, but all other planets in this local universe who are experiencing turbulence and troubles during these times. During this Christmas season, there's so many people poor, so many people who are forgotten, homeless. I also pray for them, Heavenly Father, that they will find shelter and warmth and food and that they will feel some form of love that you and your celestial beings shower upon us every day. I pray for these things, my Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, that was most beautiful. I am so happy that you were able to come to, to our home with your lovely wife, Antoinette, and share all these lovely things with us. It's made a very splendid, splendid Christmas season for us, certainly for our family. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Very, very special indeed. So Absolutely much. wonderful. Wow. I wish I was there with you guys. I really do. Oh, <laughs> Nick, you know, we, we just love your chimes. We opened your present. Oh, Nick, oh. Nick sent us a wonderful present, and we opened the chimes and uh, rang out the bells, and it was just oh, so wonderful. wonderful. And we want oh, to so do glad. that right now because we um, we want to be sure that everyone knows that the bells of a happy new year are coming and that the celestials are praising uh, all of us for our good work that we're trying to do for them and for all people. Did you hear oh. the bells? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> they really come Thank right you, across. They, oh, you're more than welcome. I love you guys so much, and I thought that would be a, a wonderful present for what you're doing out there, and... Uh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Oh well, thank you so much. Did Did you have any special way that we were to hang them? You sent five. <laughs> well, I was just thinking that um, uh, if you set up a, I had I had recommended some sort of a, a circle, perhaps a, either glass or some kind of circle table lit yeah. from underneath with glass or something like that. Oh, if, underneath. If that ever Underneath, so that the flowers and the fruit or the books, whatever you have, would be uh, uh, lit from underneath. I think that would be an incredible look. And the chimes could be around the circle. How lovely. Thank in, in you. Back of back of the chairs, in back of the chairs, uh, but enough so it would surround the people with the gentle uh, chimes uh, during, the, during your uh, ceremony. Mm -hmm. oh, lovely. Well, well, tonight we are having a beautiful meeting with the Celestials, and Pato Bantan and his wife Antoinette will be attending, and we are so excited. Uh, we will use the chimes. We are having the Infinite Mother Spirit tonight, and she is bringing in Gabriel, our bright and morning star, Gabriel from our Bible. We're bringing in Apollo and uh, Gamaliel, 
And we're also coming uh, to know more about Ceres, and she is also coming, too. So we're very excited about that. And on Nick and, and Hercules, are you there, Hercules? Oh, well, that's all right. I'm sure he is. Um, so I, anyway, sure. that will be the same. Oh, I, I hear I hear. I hear, I hear Hercules. <laughs> I didn't click the button in time, but I've been here the whole time. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Well, Hercules, we're so uh, we're so excited about this wonderful opportunity to have Nick and to have Pato and Antoinette. Um, thank you so much. And for those of you that uh, don't know, uh, Hercules uh, was uh, very instrumental in helping us to uh, to develop our newfound ministry. Uh, yeah. and we we thank you so up. much. Thank you so much for that, Hercules. You have really given us a platform to be able to uh, to express our uh, to express all the wonderful, uh, you know, experiences that we're having with the celestials, uh, and it has helped to, it has helped to unify the message. Um, it's it's a platform that helps us to gather all these this information we're receiving from different team meetings, uh, different uh, spiritual gatherings, different times where we talk to the celestials, uh, and we're able to synthesize all of that and get that together into a narrative which you have allowed us to do and we we thank you for that hercules and you know we're, we're talking about christmases and christmas and uh what a great christmas gift this is for us hercules to all come together like this we we thank you yes absolutely you're here for your kind words thank you and uh it's my uh, honor and uh, my privilege to be of help so uh uh, I'm really happy with what you're doing, and uh, if there were more ways I could be of assistance, I would gladly offer them. Oh, well, you, you have, and we have learned so much from you. Um, we want to say again that the Christmas present for the world this at this particular season is to have these four celestials that are coming tonight. They are going to offer the world within the next year more of their particular specialized services. The Infinite Mother, she's really a, a wonderful person for getting things together. She brought Michael and I together <laughs> in a most unusual way. And she is going to be doing that. She's going to be trying to bring diverse people, diverse cultures, people from different countries together. And that seems to be what she is going to be offering as her Christmas gift. Uh, Gabriel, who is coming tonight and has been, these, these two have been with us for the whole four days, the last four days, including Christmas. And Gabriel is going to uh, be bringing the, the truth, the truth to the world. In other words, uh, he feels that there's nothing more beautiful than the truth. And that is going to be his uh, gift for Christmas for this year, to try and discern, be a discerning person in the world to what is the truth. And through knowing that, to maybe um, uh, bring more love to everyone, because the truth will, will um, let bygones be guy bygones, and the truth will solidify our love for each other. Apollo is coming. He is the god of music. As you know, Hercules, you kind of introduced all of this to us. <laughs> now we're talking about it. Apollo is the god of love and music. Um, he is going to be giving his specialized gift for this year, for this world of peace, hopefully more peace. But he's going to be bringing a new music to the world. Now we don't know yet exactly what that's going to be like, but he is going to be working with his son, Dionysus, who we call Gadriel, and he is going to be giving the world a new music that will open their hearts to more peace, to have more peace between brothers, brothers of everyone in the world. And then, of course, we can't forget Gamaliel, and Gamaliel is, is in the Bible, and he was the protector of Paul, Gamaliel, and he is going to be bringing a prevention type of gift. In other words, he's going to bring the message to um, all people in ways to prevent uh, wars, in ways to prevent discord with our neighbor. There are ways, and he is specialized to do that. 
Uh, we don't want to forget Ceres, who is going to join us tonight. And she is the goddess of fertility and the goddess of the soil the and the harvest. And her gift for this next year, she wants to try and have everyone in the world, as Pato Bonton explained, everyone in the world to have enough to eat, not have any pangs of hunger, and for everyone to be prosperous, but mainly uh, to be healthy with good foods. So tonight we're going to be talking with them about these gifts, their gifts for our Christmas, for our world. Did you say you're going to videotape this evening's? We are. We are. And Pato Bonton has uh, very kindly um, said that he would uh, allow us to videotape him with us. And so it should be an extraordinary meeting. We're really looking forward to it at 8 o'clock this evening. We have some preparations to make, and then at 8 o'clock we will video it. Yes. Uh, how soon do you think it would be posted on YouTube? We will make it the next one just for you. <laughs> how about that? Fantastic, because <laughs> really that would be extraordinary. Love that. How about that? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. One. I also want to ask uh, oh, both of them. Uh, as as musicians, uh, if they have a website that our listeners could could visit, so we could hear more music. Yes, um, we have patobantan dot com, which is the website. We have Reverb Nation, Patobantan, and the Now Generation. We have Reverb Nation Roots Data, which is uh, my channel, but they're all listed on our on on our website and our Facebook and um, our ministry stuff online as well, too. So Nick, just shoot me over an email, and I'll just send you all the links to everything. And a lot of this Great. stuff is actually free downloads as well, too. Excellent, excellent. Um, Hercules and everyone, uh, our son is here with us, and oh, he geez. is Alexander, and he just wants to wish everyone a Merry Christmas before the program ends. Here he is. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And to you, Alexander. Thank you, Alexander. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They said thank you. Looking, looking forward to meeting you, you sometime, Alexander. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we wish all of your families a most happy Christmas season and a happy new year. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, so... Music, guys. Uh, music is uh, that universal language uh, which unites us all. And uh, Apollo, you know, interestingly, uh, guys, that um, there are there have been many phases in our particular min- ministry as magisterial mission representatives. There have been many phases, um, as you can tell from uh, our YouTube videos. Uh, and we have a, a book that's available that tells a little bit about uh, our journey. Um, but uh, one one of the most important uh, phases of this magisterial mission, even before the magisterial mission was announced by Maitreya, was that of the 10-year plan. Um, now, Pato, you mentioned uh, you in your prayer you you thanked. Uh, you thanked the Heavenly Father for life. Yes, the first thing you said. I yes. heard that, Bato. <laughs> mm-hmm. They, the 10-year plan for the local universe, father and mother, for these next 10 years, would love, they would love to be acknowledged. They would love to have everyone thank the Father for our precious life, thank our Heavenly Mother, our uh, local universe mother, creative daughter spirit, for all of the blessings that she bestows upon uh, the local universe. Uh, She bestows mind. She is a conduit for the spirit of truth, uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, We thank her for the blessings. Uh, And we also thank the Universal Father, who I mentioned before is uh, working on world peace. They have told us, the local universe Father told us very specifically that in order to transform this world according to the magisterial mission and the plans for the local universe, father and mother, there has to be peace. Or some measure. 
at least a measure of peace. There has to be some measure of peace so we can connect. We can connect on a positive, uh, in a positive way on a positive level. So the 10-year plan became uh, very important and, and, and uh, continues throughout the next 10 years. Uh, but during that time, the magisterial mission is happening with Lord Maitreya and his team of supporters and workers to institute nuts and bolts programs, social programs, political programs, uh, economic programs to help uplift our planet. And we hear about uh, now another phase, the, the um, worldwide religion of love with, uh, with Gabriel and Mother Venus. And then finally, starting to begin, everyone, is the work of Apollo with a new type of music. Uh, music is something, as we know, Pato, from your ministry and what you do, music is something that can change the world in an instant, and it is so powerful. And I hope, I hope in my own music that I can be open to this new type of music and in some way, in my small way, uh, help to uh, spread those new messages, those new ways of caring and sharing for everyone. So what do you think, guys, about music? Awesome. <laughs> Always a great idea. You know, I also, uh, on this end, thinking that with with so many wonderful uh, composers, musicians, performers, it's not inconceivable to, at some point, mount a music event with all mm-hmm. these talents at, at one point to be videotaped and put on YouTube as as a celebration through music. Uh, we have different styles of music. We have different points of view, and they all encompass uh, love and peace. It just seems to me as though that's a natural program. So I'm just putting that down as a thought on the table here. That's a wonderful, wonderful idea. We could all submit uh, something that we have done, that we're doing, and then put it all together and put it up on YouTube as a combined event. That's a wonderful idea. I think it, it really could work well, <laughs> and we've already, we, we already know some wonderful uh-huh. people, or the present company, of course, but there's other uh-huh. people in the movement, in the Arantra movement, that also are gifted, gifted a performer artist, and so I just think that could really take off. So I think it would. I think it's a great idea. We'll we'll keep that on our on our shelf here and start working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I just yeah. want to mention too, everyone, that when these celestials came to us, uh, they told us that they were celestial musicians. And we we thought this was incredible. We didn't know their names or anything. We we knew, of course, the local father and mother, the local universe mother and father, but we didn't know the others and their names. And they told us they were musicians. They played the organ. They they sang. They were singing in choirs. Composers. Uh, composers. In fact, the universal father told us one time that our gift for this last year from last year's Christmas was he was going to give nine choirs to sing. And and I was wondering, um, you know, all these beautiful gifts they gave us last Christmas of of music, of bells, of of different sounds. I just wonder, you know, surely this has helped us because I think our world is more peaceful that, uh, you know, it was kind of scary last year and I think it's not quite as bad this year. So I'm, I'm really very, very much... Um, hoping that this year they will even accomplish more. You know, Diane, another part of that, too, is that we all are familiar with the Urantia book, and there are several passages in the book talking about celestial musicians and how music is the language of the universe. And I'm just thinking, reading some of those passages at a future podcast might be wonderful. I think that we could give you that project. How about it? <laughs> I, I think accept, it's an excellent I idea. I love your ideas, Nick. I, I want that. I do. I, I and, accept that. I, I think it would also, it. for the people not familiar with the book, it would also give them a more insight into into the riches of what that book is, what the Arantia book is talking about, especially with the uh, subject of music. So, let's, yeah, well, I'll look for that. 
Well, why don't we, uh, mm-hmm. why don't, you know, we'll we'll plan that for our next uh, magisterial mission. Yeah. Uh, but what were you going to say, Hercules? I was going to say our journey is approaching a close, so folks would like to share their <laughs> right. uh, contact information. And I had a question for your guests. Uh, um, I've been listening with rapt attention. I really like what they're doing, and I want to get some information uh, from them. So let's do the closing mm-hmm. and contact first. All right, go ahead, Pato. What what do you what did you ask? Oh, uh, uh, the contact information. Oh, um, your website, website and, uh, or any way people can get in contact yeah. with you, and that's To contact to contact us, you can go to our website patobanton.com, dot com. P a t o b a n t o n dot com. To join our spiritual family on Facebook. You just go to Pato Banton Spiritual Family to listen and download 30 years of my music catalog for free. You can go to Reverb Nation forward slash Pato Banton and the Now Generation. And all of my albums are there for a free download, including my seven CD box set called The Words of Christ is also free on that site for download. Fantastic. Wow. <laughs> and okay. if you want to call me, if you ever need to call me as a brother or a friend, my number is on my website and my Facebook page, but you only have to dial 323-877-6502, and that will get you directly to my cell phone, and you can call me anytime you need a brother or a friend. Oh, wow, that is very generous you. of you. Very generous. And the same for Antoinette? Yes, and if anybody's looking for me, all you got to do is find him. I'm right there. (laughs) (laughs) Or seven, where I'm stuck to his side and everything. So anytime you find him, you'll find me. We've run all of the social media pages ourselves, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, um, the website, you know, everything there is. So we run everything ourselves, so you'll be able to find us easily. Thank you, Antoinette. And how about you, Nick? Uh, tell us about your two. Uh, tell us about the, also uh, Disclosure Network. Uh, the Disclosure Network is dnny.info. That will get you to our website, and that will we post uh, past meetings. We audio tape them, and you can you can enjoy that on the internet. And uh, my uh, my uh, email, just in case, is n i c k n y n y the figure one at gmail dot com. Awesome. That will do it. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you very much. And uh, we have a YouTube channel that we've been mentioning uh, a number of times here during the podcast. Uh, it's Michael and Diane Duncan. It's M I C H A E L, separate word and A N D. Diane D I A N N E, and D U N K I N, like Dunkin' Donuts, but don't put the apostrophe on. Uh, <laughs> Michael and Diane Duncan, we have about 51 videos now of uh, team meetings, celestial team meetings, uh, spiritual gatherings. We have artwork, songs, Urantia book presentations, and we'll be putting up uh, we'll be putting up two more messages from Maitreya. Maitreya's fourth and sixth messages. We'll be putting those up uh, on our YouTube channel soon. Uh, and my music is uh, we have. Uh, three albums now, working on the fourth, Urantia Book inspired, uh, but also Sixth Revelation uh, inspired music, and that's on uh, many download uh, download and streaming sites, uh, uh, iTunes, Amazon Music, Spotify. Uh, you can find it, uh, you know, on a number of sites. Uh, CD Baby. So uh, check those out. And if you'd like to contact us personally, it's Michael M I C H A E L. Duncan, D-U-N-K-I-N, the number one, at hotmail.com. And I want to put a little plug in here for the Urantia book. With three clicks, you can download the Urantia book, print it out, um, and have it for your own and study it. That's it. Uh, that would be at uh, urantiabook.org. That's U-R-A-N-T-I-A, urantiabook.org, truthbook.com, Urantia Foundation, a number of websites to read and study the Urantia book. Wow, okay, so we have tons of uh, information. I put everything that I could uh, 
uh, followers who are going. I have uh, uh, Pato and Nick's uh, Facebook pages. I have your YouTube channel. I have uh, Pato's uh, website and also his uh, um, spiritual family site on Facebook. I have the Urantia Book uh, New York and the Urantia Book Fellowship. So, <laughs> wow. My goodness, Hercules. <laughs> you are multi-talented. <laughs> we couldn't have a- we couldn't have a better producer than Hercules. No, Hercules. we could not. Oh, no, Pato and Antoinette, not. I'll tell you, Hercules is fabulous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank yes. you. And Second. Pato and Antoinette, you guys mentioned the URI, uh, and you mentioned yes. another uh, interfaith organization. I do a lot of interfaith uh, things uh, here. Um, and I'd like to look into these organizations. So what was the second organization? I missed that one. You, we had oh, the the one is the United, United Religions Initiative. Okay. And, Unity. and then the other one is Unity Earth. Unity Earth. So you'll Earth. find okay. them both. They both have websites, unityearth.org, uri.org, and they're both on Facebook as well. And if you also look up onegod.com. Mm-hmm. That's where we started. OneGod.com. It, okay, I, yeah, I will definitely it, it, follow this through. And uh, um, thank you so very much, you excellent uh, guests, and uh, um, enjoy you. your ceremony. And I look forward to uh, connecting with you again. Well, Blessings I enough. want to wish everyone a happy holiday season, a wonderful, prosperous new year that is free from war and any hunger for anyone in the world. And I want to tell you that we send you our love from Michael and I. Much love Um, to everyone. And Happy New Year to all. Olympian blessings to all who have joined us on our adventure. Now, go forth and create a better world. One filled with light and love. On behalf of the pride of Olympus and her crew, may your journeys be joyous.